Okay, this is a video on how I do my hooded towels. So the first thing I do is I pick my image, which is a little deer, and then I put my tear away on, and then I go and do an outline so that I know where, how big my image is going to be. So I do that. And you can see that I've done this several times and I just cut away the area that was this area that I used last and then I just use some um, 505 temporary adhesive and cut another piece of tearaway that will fit into that little square that I cut out. So then I take my um, hand towel which it does have the decorative stuff on both sides. And I'm fixing, I'm going to find the end with the tags and I'm going to cut those off. Okay, next, once I've got those all cut off, I'm going to take my towel and fold it in half. And once that's done, I'm, so you cut it, you fold it in half sorry, um, lengthwise. And then once you've got it folded and, never, and it's all even the way you want it, then you're gonna cut down the center right here all the way across. Okay, once you've got your towel cut in half, then I fold it in half again and match up the edges on here. Find my center, and I just kind of hand press it down. And then my next step is you're going to put this little finished edge just below where my little stitching is for how big my image is going to be. And then I just move it around until that center piece where I've pressed it down with my fingers is just about centered. And you can kind of move it around a little bit as you need to. And of course, it's maybe a little bit to play with a little. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is spray the temporary adhesive again and use my wash away and then pin it all down. All right, and next I'm gonna start with the outline for the first applique. I had a piece that I had ready, but I don't. So let me go um, get my fabric that I'm going to use for the lower. I part. have my fabric on, the presser foot's down, and I'm going to hit start again. So, yeah. And put that down 
and then I'll cut around it with my applique scissors, which this is what I use for my applique scissors. Um, I think I just ordered them from Amazon and I really like them. I can get really close to the stitching and I have not cut any yet. So that's what I'll do next. Okay, as you can see, I've done the sep second applique um, placement and I'm now working on the satin stitch around my design. And once that is complete and I get it off the hoop, I will show you what I do next. Okay, now that my design is finished, I'm going to take it off and take out all the pins. A little more difficult one-handed. And then pull off my soluble layer. And then just gonna pull on this easily and take it off the hoop. over that's, that's okay not a problem there and then I'll just take off all of the tear away that I can get off If I have any little pieces like this, I'll usually just go ahead and trim them. That way they don't get hung up on something else later. And then the next step is to take your towel and you are going to fold it in half again with your image on the inside and I try because a lot of times I end up a little bit off center but I try to just fold it close to where I already had it and like I said it may be off a little um, this one seems to be off mm, quite a bit but I'll go fudge it a little bit and then I will come and I usually do a zigzag stitch along this edge and then I'll show you what's next after okay, I do that. Now that I've sewn down the whole edge on the inside, then, sorry, this is a little crazy. So then you're gonna flip it to where you got Then you're gonna flip all that so it is right side out. Then you're going to take your towel, your big towel, and fold it in half and find the center. I'm gonna cut, once again, I'll cut the tags and everything off so that none of that's on there and um, let me pin it on and I'll show you what I do. Once I get my towel folded in half, my bath towel, I put a pin where the center is. I line this up, as you can tell. So I kind of improvised a little bit. Um, this is just a demo um, that I'm going to end up giving to a friend of mine that has um, four little kids. So 
let me do this and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so once I have the hood sewn on to the towel, I just did a zigzag all across there. And since I had off-centered my towel by mistake, um, I just centered the, my image and then just cut part of the towel off and put it away the way it was supposed to be. So you end up with your decorative edge on the back side. So it's, no, I mean, and if I had done it correctly, these should have matched up or pretty close to matching up um, on the back. So don't be afraid that the decorative part is going to be a problem because it's not going to be seen on the front at all. So let me wrap it up and show you um, what it looks like for my, in my display um, position. Okay, so once I have the hood sewn on to the towel, I just did a zigzag all across there and since I had off-centered my towel by mistake, um, I just centered the, my image and then just cut part of the towel off and put it away, the way it was supposed to be. So you end up with your decorative edge on the back side. So it's no, I mean, and if I had done it correctly, these should have matched up or pretty close to matching up um, on the back. So don't be afraid that the decorative part is going to be a problem because it's not going to be seen on the front at all. So let me wrap it up and show you um, what it looks like for my, in my display um Position. Okay, so that is the finished design, and I mean, you still have the decorative stuff on the back, but I mean, who's really going to pay attention to the back? And I mean, there's not, I don't think there's a hand towel out there without some type of a decorative side, and these happen to have it on both sides, on both ends of the towel. My other ones I don't think had it on both sides or both ends. I think it was just on one end of the towel. So on one of your designs you won't you wouldn't have any decorative um edging. So and I mean I think my personal opinion is my other towels came from Walmart. These came from Sam's that I ordered and had them delivered. And I think these towels are better than, better quality than the ones from um, Walmart. And so we'll see. Good luck to everyone.